Welcome to this pre-registration challenge video. In this video, we will focus on how to navigate the pre-reg challenge process by starting a draft, navigating through the form, replying to feedback from reviewers, and checking all of the boxes in your final manuscript. If you are looking for other information about the challenge, additional videos and materials are available from the cos.io slash pre-reg website. The pre-registration or pre-reg challenge is a structured and supported process for exploring pre-registration in your research. It includes a template for drafting your pre-registration, feedback from one of our review team to help you work through and improve that draft, and a $1,000 cash prize once your research is published. To be eligible for the pre-registration challenge, your pre-registration needs to have a minimum of one inferential hypothesis, specified variables related to that hypothesis, and a specific analysis you will be using to test the hypothesis. You can find the full eligibility rules at osf.io slash four U X B J. That's osf.io slash four U X B J. The easiest way to start putting together your pre registration is to visit osf.io slash pre reg. That's pre reg P R E R E G. From there, click the pre-register button. That will prompt you for a title and then move you directly to a web form where you can begin entering information about your research plan. In the background, this form will also create a project on the OSF, a free online tool for research management, so that you have a place where you can store your research materials alongside your pre-registration. You do not have to use this OSF project to participate in the pre-reg challenge. We just make the option available because the OSF is a free service. If you are already an OSF user, once you log in, you will have additional options, including the ability to connect an existing project to a new pre-registration from the same osf.io slash pre-reg site. Both options bring you to the same pre-reg challenge form. This pre-registration challenge web form is broken up into multiple sections to cover different aspects of your study design. These include basic study information, variables to be collected, and the analysis plan. All of the sections are listed in the upper left-hand corner of the form and you can click on any of them there to jump between sections. As you fill out each section, there is also a Next button at the bottom of each screen to move you through the form. In order to make sure all your work is saved as you move through the form, we automatically save your input periodically. A little note at the bottom of the page will tell you when we most recently auto-saved things for you. If you need to stop for a while and come back to the form later, be sure to hit the Save Draft button at the bottom of the page to make sure everything you have written since the last autosave is appropriately filed away for you. When you want to get back to your draft and start working on it again, just go back to osf.io slash pre-reg and click on the Continue Working on an Existing Draft pre-registration button. Each question on the form has a show example button right above the text box where you enter your answer. Just click on the show example button to see one example of a well-written answer as well as more details about what kind of information we are looking for. We also have a list of 10 complete pre-registrations you can look at to see how other researchers have answered these questions. 
These are actual submissions from researchers in different disciplines who all use this form to put together great pre-registrations. You can find them all at osf.io slash h9k8n. That's osf.io slash h9k8n. Once you have finished filling everything in and are ready to make your first submission, head to the last page of the form, the one for Other Information. When you load the other page, one of two things will happen. If any sections of the form still need required information, those section names will turn red, so you know where to go to fill in the missing information. If everything is filled out completely, then instead you will be able to click the Preview for Submission button at the bottom of the page. That will give you a preview of everything you have entered so you can review it for any errors or omissions. When you are happy with everything in the preview, hit the green Submit for Review button to send your materials to one of our review team. At this point, you have an important decision to make about when your pre-registration will become public. When you hit Submit for Review, you will be able to choose whether your registration should be made public immediately after the comment and revision process, or whether to enter it into an embargo period of up to four years. Whatever you choose, just know that we will work with you during the review process to ensure that this registration is the best possible representation of your research plan. Once your draft is submitted, one of our team members will review it for completeness, detail, and clarity. Most likely, they will have questions or suggestions on how to improve the pre-registration. When that happens, they will add comments to your draft, and you will receive an email notifying you of the comments and giving you a link to the commented version. Comments can appear at the bottom of each page in the web form, so be sure to look through each section to make sure you have seen everything. The comment system is a way for you to discuss the details of your pre-registration with our review team, so feel free to reply and use the comments to work through any questions that come up. The comments on your submission are just between you and the review team. They will not be included in the final pre-registration and will not be publicly available. Once you have finished the discussion, make any changes you need in the relevant pre-registration answer sections and resubmit it for review. When everything looks good to the reviewer, they will approve the final draft and you will receive an email asking for final confirmation. The confirmation step is when your entry stops being a draft and becomes a formal pre-registration. Depending on what you entered when submitting your draft, your pre-registration will either become public now or after whatever embargo period you set. At this point, you will get an email from the system with links to additional resources that may be helpful to you as you carry out your research program. Now comes the actual research. As you follow the research plan, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. If something happens that was not covered in your pre-registration, don't panic. The unexpected happens, and the goal of a pre-registration is to make your design and decision-making process transparent, not to trap or shackle you. Take a look at our Plan Not a Prison blog post for some information on how to handle unexpected twists in your pre-registered research. A link to that blog post was included in your email of additional resources, and that email will also be resent to you periodically while you conduct your research. As you begin drafting your manuscript, 
take a look through the pre-registration challenges manuscript checklist available at osf.io slash z w k q j that's osf.io slash z w k q j and that link is also included in your resources email that will ensure you include all the elements needed to qualify for the final cash prize if you are unsure or just want to confirm that everything is in order the Center for Open Science is happy to review your manuscript once it has been accepted by a publisher. Just be sure to send us a copy to pre-reg at cos.io before you reach the final copy editing stage so that any changes we suggest can still make it into the published version. Once your article is published, just send an email to pre-reg at cos.io with a link to the online version for final review. If all the elements in the manuscript checklist are there, then you are all done, and we will be in contact about the payment schedule. That's the pre-registration challenge.